Hello everyone, um, this is Amanda Ellis of amandaellis.co.uk and Facebook page Angelic Celestial Colours. Um, thank you for joining me, I'm making this at the end of November 2013 and I was intending to sit down and do a video on Metatron which I probably will do after this um, because I thought what we were going to be doing was an update from Archangel Metatron um, but maybe that might be in a few days time when we actually get into December because um, rather to my surprise I've sat down here and I've pulled the cards out I have a beautiful new deck of cards to play with here and it's the Angels of Atlantis cards um, from Stuart Pierce, who I don't know a lot about to be honest but I, I, I love the cards I'm quite interested to look a little bit more about, at his work and I've pulled three cards and would you believe it the, the three are all Archangel Jophiel cards so we have here um, Archangel Jophiel Liberation, Archangel Jophiel Joy, Archangel Jophiel Meditation. So we've got Meditation, Joy and Liberation and um, these stunning gold images on the cards. I mean, look, I just think these are beautiful. I think they've got so much energy coming off them. And um, within the new Archangel Metatron sprays that I've made, I have made one which is called Joy. And it is this one, which is a, obviously it's a lemony coloured bottle. And um, the, it isn't really being picked up quite how bright and sparkly it is on this bottle. But anyway, I've called this one um, Joy and it's linked into the colour lemon. And I think what I'd like to do is just try to connect into Archangel Jophiel, who feels as though he's here for us today for some reason, and to um, just get a sense of what, what he's trying to say to us. So um, let's just get ready for that then. And um, I'm just going to spray the joy, the lemon joy spray around me. I'm going to put it into my aura. It's got a lovely lemony smell, obviously. Maybe you'd like to tune in and just quieten yourself and imagine a very beautiful lemon light coming down around you now and just literally imagining it as a waterfall of lemon light falling down around your, your head and your shoulders and taking it all the way down over your body, over your arms, all the way down your spine. Lemon light going all the way over your body right down to your feet until you can really feel yourself cocooned in this beautiful lemon light and lemon is a colour that is very much linked into washing away our fear and helping us to step into joy which is one of the cards we have here we have the joy card so let's tune in then to Archangel Jophiel and just hear what he has to say to us today as we surround ourselves with that beautiful lemon light I'm actually physically being shown um, a picture of a lemon in my mind's eye and reminded about the fact that um, lemon on the outside looks really, really beautiful, doesn't it? And, um, and it, it smells beautiful as well. The smell of a lemon is um, absolutely gorgeous. I love the smell of lemon. Um, so it looks beautiful. It smells beautiful. Um, but the actual taste of lemon is actually quite sharp and bitter, isn't it? And I think what he's saying here, if I just link into him, is he's saying that so many of you um, push joy down the scale of priorities because it feels as though um, you're not allowed to have the sweetness in life that you maybe deserve. And I feel as though he's saying this often goes back to early programming that we all have to a large extent from families we've come from or society we've come from or it may be something um, karmic that we've come in with as well whereby uh, there is something in the family chain which is all about the need for hard work and endurance and survival 
and he's saying that if you um, think back down your family tree, even really to two, two or three generations ago, there was, although people were happier in many respects, and that's often reported that they were happier um, because they maybe had simpler lives, they also were li they also were lives that largely were governed by the need to just get get on with life, get on, do the job, and didn't have as much time for play and social interaction and um, happy times that we would call now joyous times. Um, and he's saying we are very lucky to be one of the first generations um, in societies where there. Um, where we are comfortably off, where we don't have survival needs outside our front door every day. We're not having to fight for food or peace. Um, but those of us in these privileged places in the world where um, we are provided for and we are comfortable, we still find it very hard to get joy into our lives. And he's saying, why is this? And he's saying there seems to be something often within the family line that blocks um, the flow of joy from being something that we feel we deserve or is easily accessible to us. So I'd like you here just to close your eyes and he is wanting to put you um, in a setting in nature and I'd like you to imagine yourself here um, on a beach, I'm being shown a beach and it's a very tranquil setting. The weather is warm but not too hot so it's just a comfortable temperature where maybe you're in a t-shirt and shorts, something like that. And you're sitting looking out to sea um, on a comfortable uh, resting place and you're just looking at the sea which looks tranquil you can see the sun shining down on it and rippling on it. And you also can feel the warmth of the sand underneath your feet. And you actually feel very at peace with life at this moment. And you're just actually on your own. You're just on your own contemplating the beauty of the scene before you. And really just try and flesh it out. It doesn't feel as though there are many people there. It feels as though it's a quiet, secluded bay where you're just able to spend some time in nature, in sunshine, enjoying the beauty of this um, vista that he's showing you. And he's saying, just draw in the beauty of this and the joy of the, the vibration of joy in this place into your heart and into your solar plexus, which is the digestive area of the body. So it's really as though we're pulling in this beautiful, lemon, joyful light into our, the centre of our being, into our stomach and right up into the heart as well, until we can really feel a beautiful golden glow emanating from our, our centre, but it starts to ripple out into the rest of our body. And so you can really feel this lemon light as it starts to radiate, that's the word I'm getting, it's radiating out into your cells, it's going up into your shoulders, really just letting you put down the burdens of whatever you're going through at the moment, just really connecting into this scene where you are sitting in this beautiful place in nature with the sun on your back and you're just drawing in the warmth and the the beauty of this very lovely lemon ray and it goes also all the way down your back it softens your back it makes your back feel flexible and supple and playful your back is able to actually relax and not be so rigid so it feels more supple and soft you take the lemon light all the way down your legs into your feet into your ankles into your knees into your joints you really feel it radiating out of all parts of you. It goes into your hands, it goes into your, um, your thumbs and your fingers. And then it works its way up and the, yellow, the lemon light is travelling all the way up now into the throat area, cleansing the throat. And then it's just flowing upward even more into the crown and just really taking that in now up to the higher realms as well. So something that started from... 
um, being sitting on the earth and taking in nature is actually now flowing all the way through you. It's flowing into the earth and it's also flowing upward through you. And then just let that cocoon of lemon light just start to cascade down again so you feel as though you're in a cocoon. You feel as though you're in a beautiful cocoon of lemon light. And within that, maybe just take a moment to sense what you feel within the cocoon. It may be that you can smell particular smells. You may be able to um, sense texture. You may be able to hear things. You may have other colours wanting to come into the cocoon, and that is fine. Just experience what it feels like to be totally surrounded by this beautiful, high vibrational lemon light. And your body feels happy, your body feels peaceful, your body feels um, slightly excited by this lemon light. And being shown traffic lights, it's almost as though we've got the amber light here where you're getting ready to do something or you're getting ready to go. There is a sense of expect expectation within this lemon bubble. And then within in that state, we actually now welcome in the energy of Archangel Jophiel. And we're just going to spend a minute just welcoming in this beautiful Archangel's presence. So welcoming in the energy of Archangel Jophiel. saying let go of all that troubles you. Let go of the little things. Concentrate on the things that make you happy. Surround yourself with the people that make you happy. Concentrate on the things that bring you joy. Concentrate on the things that you're passionate about, that you love about life. And it can be simple things or complex things. And he's saying it's unique to you. What brings you joy doesn't necessarily bring the next person joy. And that that is fine. You're all unique. He's saying to imagine that the aspect of your lives that, sig that is sort of signified by drudgery or something that you have to do. He's imagining that now. Or he'd like you to imagine it as a cloak around you. And this cloak, which represents sort of drudgery and monotony, boredom, um, things we don't want to do but have to do, just take a look at the colour of it. And it feels quite a dark, heavy colour that I have coming around me here. And he's saying it's your choice whether you choose to carry this cloak forward into your life or not or whether you actually want to spring clean areas of your life so that there can be more joy and more sunshine coming in. And he's asking you just to drop the cloak around you that is dark and heavy. So just let go and, let, and watch as it falls to the floor and you see aspects of your life that create unhappiness literally just falling away from you. And he's saying there are some aspects that might not bring you joy in this life, but you still have to do. But he's saying it's all to do with how you view any particular situation or circumstance. There is joy to be found in everything. There, is, there are lessons to be found in everything that can be very satisfying and can ultimately lead to joy. But he's saying just let go of what you can let go of and that you no longer need. And then I'd like you just to become aware with Joe Feel's presence of it's like a chain of people that I'm seeing behind each of you. And these represent your ancestors. And I'd like you to maybe go back three generations. So we're going back to not just to your parents or your grandparents, we're going back to great grandparents. You may might even like to take it one more generation back to the fourth generation. 
And I'd just like you to see this line of ancestors that your higher self has just asked to come in beside you now. And just take a look at the clothes that they're wearing and the demeanour of them, the look on their face. And Jophiel is about illumination. And so what he's showing you is an aspect of them where they felt they didn't feel joyful in life. They didn't feel as though they were allowed joy, maybe. And what he's doing is he's shining a bright beam of sunlight, not just on you now, but on this whole line of ancestors that you can see. It feels like on your left hand side, but it might be different for different people. But there's a line of ancestors now just queuing up beside you. And you might actually be able to sense their physical presence now. If you can't, don't worry, they're still there. But just imagine each generation having sunlight poured onto it. And there'll be one person from each, each generation that steps forward that is important for some reason. You don't even need to know their names. You don't need to know what they look like. It could just be that you have a number of people and we'll call them generation one, generation two, generation three, generation four. You can go back to seven generations, I'm told here. So just do that and just see sunlight literally beaming on to each of those people that represents the different generations in your family line that you have come from. And as that sunlight hits them, they start to look up at you and you can see their face and it is joyful. And you can feel that yellow glow that you have entering them as well. And as it does that, it breaks all the barriers to you being able to access not only the joy that was latent maybe in their own lives, but they had potential to feel, but they also just shine their happiness onto you as well. They're saying that they're proud of you in this incarnation, that you are representative of a whole line of people within your family, and you're the one here now on the earth being asked to shine the light. And by doing this, we actually help to liberate them as well from their darkness. We liberate them from um, a place where they may have been unhappy, either in the physical world here when they were alive or maybe in spirit now. But we're just shining that bright lemon light onto them. So that feels complete now. So just with that knowledge, just let them go with their angel. Metatron's coming in here just taking them off to wherever they reside at the moment. Some people might still be here on the earth plane. Some people may have passed over and will have passed over. So Metatron's just taking each one of those respective generations back to where they belong at this moment in time. And then with Jophiel and Metatron now, both standing side by side, they look at you and they say, what is blocking you from having joy in your life? So maybe just think about that, think about the concept of joy and happiness and just see within yourself, I'm being shown a barometer from 1 to 10, in terms of how joyful you feel in your life at this moment. Don't judge what you get, just register whatever it is. So it might be a 5, it might be a 3, it might be a 9, I've no idea. Just register what it is. And then if there is room for improvement in that. Metatron now is just smiling at Jophia and he's saying, I want to, I want to change the dial. <laughs> and he's asking for permission because archangels work together. So he's just now nudging your personal dial up a couple of notches. And it's going to go up to an individual level that's right for you. It might be seven, it might be nine, it might be ten. But take it up as high as you feel you're able to given the circumstances in your life at the moment, but allowing the opportunity in for more joy. Okay, that's now done. And now I really need you to remember that barometer that's been set to a higher level. And uh, there's a little bell there going off in the background just to confirm that that is actually now in place for everybody. So... Just coming back now into the room and, and, and looking at me if you've had your eyes closed, I want you to take that into your everyday life. So just when you are waking up in the morning, I'm being told in particular, 
and sometimes we can wake up and we can feel a bit so like oh I've got this to do today or that to do today or feeling overwhelmed but there's no time for fun there's no time for play just remember that you have the ability for more fun than you think you can than you think you have and um, Metatron is also coming in here and saying it's like a bit of homework to do now which is actually for you to maybe get a piece of paper at some point after you've watched this and he wants you to physically write down on a piece of paper what is it that brings you joy what is it that makes you happy and it, it, it can be anything it can be about baking cakes it can be about going for a walk it can be I don't know I've no idea what it is it is completely individual to every single person but um, Whatever it is that makes you happy is the thing that you need to be putting top of your list to be getting more of in your life. And he's saying, both of them are saying it's very important, particularly in the lead up to Christmas, because we have got a very powerful period um, energy wise coming up and it gets very frantic and busy and everyone's, everyone's racing around and we can really lose the joy. And this season, December, Christmas time, the festive period, New Year, it should be about welcoming in this. It should be about welcoming in joy, liberation, and taking time for meditation as well. So just with that uh, beautiful image in mind, really, just, just, just use that as a like the barometer or something just to be focusing in on to remember how important that is. There's obviously also my lovely sprays, um, my, my lemon spray, which um, is also available for sale on the website. We're getting quite near to Christmas now, so um, but anybody that wants to buy them either for just before Christmas or for the new year, then get in touch with me. They're £11 at the moment, £11 each plus postage, and I can post them more or less anywhere. So um, let me know. From January they go up a little bit. So uh, if you want a bottle of this, which just helps you to connect again into that whole magic of the lemon, um, the lemon energy, then please let me know. Okay, I'm going to sign off now then, and I'm, I'm probably going to do another video now, just linking into Metatron's energy. So thank you very much for listening to this one. And uh, actually, I'm just being told I have to pull one more card before I close off on you. So I'll do that now. So we've obviously had three cards from Joe Fiel. <laughs> Let's just see what we end with after we've completed what we've just done there. Oh, that's rather nice. Uriel, it says abundance. So what have we got there? We've got a beautiful tree on, it looks like a yellow, yellow lawn. And it's just reaching out for everything that the universe can provide. And it's saying, don't li Okay, what he's saying here is, Uriel's saying is, don't limit yourself. Don't think that you can't have joy just because you might be studying for an exam or you might be um, looking after children or you might have to be caring for elderly parents or, I don't know, there's so many different scenarios in life where we can be drained and think there's no time to do anything that might please me. And he's saying it's an abundant universe. You can have more or less whatever you want. So that's rather a nice image to leave as well. Okay, thanks very much, everyone. Speak to you soon. Bye.